Hey yo, yellow, dance all bum, bang. Hey, what am I dealing with? Flex in the complex representing for dance hall bam. Oh damn, dance hall bam. Hey, <laughs> one to them. Baddest thing in a dance hall. Yeah, man, people, you don't know. No. The Maroon Empire, you know. Seven Star Horus Lewis, LB, representing for dance hall bam. You know the number one in our stand. Serve ever the man. Dance hall bam. Alisa, I represent for dance hall bam. Hear me, I stand a dance hall bam. It's sticky pan them. Them can't get me up. Them charge up and faster than a Tesla man Circle them with bugger clip extension and extra Hatch call them this again, some call me catch straight club Clip up a ra- Greetings Earthlings Welcome to another episode of Dance Hall Bomb If you're not yet a member of this fraternity Please like, subscribe, share this channel Turn on your notification post Whenever I upload the next episode, you will be notified Now in today's episode, we have a few topics to discuss A few articles to review A few voice notes to review These are the stories Ladies and gentlemen, members of the Dance Hall Bomb fraternity on today's episode of Dance Our Bomb, rumors of war continues between Bounty Killer and Shabba Ranks. But first, I have a clip here to share with you guys of Lloyd Leng as he explains the current status of Dance Our Music. Check it out. Hey yo, yellow, Dance Our Bomb, bang! Shaggy's recent statement in regards to Trap Dance Hall being the future of the Jamaican music scene has taken a lot of people aback, even myself. And the pundits have started talking and the conversation has gotten heated even on my own IG space. But I beg to ask the question. Suppose Shaggy is right. Yes, I said that. Suppose Shaggy is right. Because if we really look at the landscape, the remaining players of the 90s, 80s dancehall scene are no longer actually doing dancehall music. I mean, truth be told, Shaggy's last album was a Frank Sinatra cover. So who is actually doing dancehall so that the youths them can get inspired? Nobody. These youths sat in them rooms on some computers learning from YouTube and the resources that was there to teach them something else. And what little they remembered or what little they knew of dancehall, they tried to incorporate it into the sound called trap dancehall. And now, I mean, it's not the sound that we want, but the people that were to lead them along the pathway did not guide them. And this is what we have. So maybe it is the future of dancehall because the people who after a certain time in their career should have taken on the responsibility to pass on the art form, did not. And so while we sit here, including myself, blaming the youths for trying to figure out them way in a dark room and then complain that they live in the basement in the house of reggae, it's because their fathers put them in the basement. They did not give them a proper room. And so if Trap dancehall is the future of dancehall. I ask only the youths to do one thing. Add the drum and bass and make it your own. Otherwise than that, we now going to have nothing less. It's up to you. Because if I own a chart on the own. Now, ladies and gentlemen, dancehall music has changed over the years. And trap dancehall music is what the younger generation are definitely pushing right now and it's working out for them they're doing international collaborations they're hitting the billboard they're definitely making a living for themselves from this subgenre of the music dancehall yes some people have a problem with it but i don't see the difference it's just another subgenre that doesn't mean that the original dancehall is not being done people it's just that the trap music is being getting more attention by the younger generation people yes we have to accept changes the world is going forward now now, ladies and gentlemen on to other topics in today's headlines we have willful skillful hailing from the alliance people bounty killers newest protege on the musical scene people i'm going to share a clip with you guys to show you how talented this young artist is check it out willful skillful one to remember i'm here say yo dance all boom if i advise you i see a car go i say boom them boom them up them can't get me up Never. more than time just set me up time, but you not let me go let me go tell the whole life he teach me a lot no. Half a strong, me no weak, me no rat Please. Go for the cheese and no one more me dinner that Used to work as a queen, they be my job Perfect. Tell about naive Mount a friend that try to bring me down Them wish, them your police fling me down Any sick, good or dead, dead G-Daddy, make sure I say you bring the rum 
Now, ladies and gentlemen, Willful Skillful is a protege of Bounty Killer that hails from Seaview Gardens. And not because we say he's a protege of Bounty Killer means the music good. We know we have ears and eyes to self, and we see it and we hear the raw talent, harsh reality. Willful Skillful can put him craft and express himself in a this manner, people. Can't get me out. The youth I try to say a long time, I'm a whole it, people. I'm a doing music and I hold a straight part. Now, Earthlings, there have been rumors of war going around that Bounty Killer and Shabarangs are going to go head to head, but that is far from the truth, people. What I would like to see in Seaview Gardens is a collaboration between Shabarangs, Dexter Dapps, Willful Skillful, and Bounty Killer, the five-star general Rodney Price. And people, Dexter Dapps made a video clip and he was definitely missing the same thing and I'm going to share it with you guys. Check it out. Yeah, me I say no up top boss, I'm represent dance album. Hey, dance album. I bet we fuck up in ya. Why just so? Calm down. As a man from Seaview Guard. See me I say. Well. Look up to everybody. Where contribute to my scheme for have the acknowledgement to it of seeing as a man from CV Garden we're proud same come from CV Garden they won't ask me because we've been a get asked these questions how you feel about this what you think about that what you think about this me no want nobody ask me no more Means not the person for getting a drama. So let me just get this out of the way. Me here for be the devil's advocate sometimes. But just imagine if the emperor and the general do a tune. Yeah. Give me all a verse tonight, you know. See if you link up. Can't buy that foolishness. A foolish matter. Tell me if a, if a fuck criminal chatter to tell me, you know. The emperor. The general. See you link up. Dance are nice again. So people, stop asking me who is this and uh, who and that is. Who and I see you who say, you see. One community, I always scheme. me hear that. I just saw that. So nobody not really asks me no fuck it. Our scheme, our people's them. Dance out for nice. So with that being said. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm 100% agreeing with Dexter Daps. I'm supporting the Sea View Link Up people, the big collaboration between the greats Bounty Killer and Ashaba Ranks people. If those artists should go against each other, it will be like one is just bringing down oneself, one community people. Unity is the order of the day, people. And Bounty Killer took to Instagram where he shared this post shocking the world. I'm gonna read it for you just now that he made it directly at a Shabba Ranks on his Instagram account and it stated, my idols cannot be my rival, me not this elder unless they come at me directly. So big up Shabba Ranks despite whatever he might have said but his actions speak way louder than his words because what he had done for me and many other youths by impacting and inspiring us musically is immense. I know that the fans are a bit disappointed to an extent with certain things being said, but look at the positive side. The first visa I ever got in 1993 was on Shabarang store petition. He might not even remember that so he can say anything and get a pass, folks. I respect and rate Shabarangs all my life so there's nothing him or anybody can say or do to change that no plus miss christie is like a mother to me we all had our opinions but a one c view at dexter Daps said so ego and petty feelings can't mash it up shaba had to be proud of me because i'm a product of his inspiration as big as i can ever get shaba will always be a part of my journey can't insult my own inspiration there's no bad blood here at least for me so big up mama christy 
and Mama Ivy, I had nothing more to say about this situation. Stay positive, folks. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you see that there the killer is showing Shabarang's respect once more and nothing but respect all the time, people. Now, he also posted this clip reminiscing on a particular moment in the past. Check it out. Dance album, I know I represent for you, you know, you know them dead. Yes, people, yes, people. Come on. The murder people, we don't wait till night. All the murder people in the world. Well, yeah, you're over. Hold on, hold on. Yes, buddy, yes, buddy. 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 Now, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it at the end of the day. It's our love from Sea View Gardens. One Sea View Gardens, one Bounty Killer, one Shabarangs, one Dexter Dubs, one Willful Skillful. Now, ladies and gentlemen, on to other topics in today's headlines. We have Leon Bailey with a beautiful goal for Aston Villa. Check it out. Me, shocking my representing for dance album. A dance album, I do it. You hear that? Tune in. Again, squeezing it for Moreno down the line for Luca Dina. Oh, in towards the near post, Bailey! That is a massive spanner thrown in the works. Now, people, we've reached the end of another brand new show. If you're not yet a member of this fraternity, please like, subscribe, share this channel, turn on your notification post whenever I upload the next episode. You will be notified. Now, people, I wish you the best of luck throughout the week. I'm out.